Hey folks, JD here, and today we've got this. This is the JD20S Pro. Hmm. Okay, let's take her up and see exactly what she's like. She's got four brushed motors, she's got optical flow, she's got a buttload of features, and she's reported to have a 60 minute battery life. All right then, let's see exactly what she's like. Right then, so let's pop this in here. Let's see how we go. Let's turn on the quad first. Come on. <laughs> right then, in order to turn on the quad, we need to put the battery in. There we go. Yay, well done, John. Right then, let's try that again. There we go. Quad on. Oh, it seemed to auto bind. I did a one up and one down, but it did take an extra couple of seconds from that point, which could mean that it is going to auto bind. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try that again and not do the one up and one down and see if she does auto bind. Yeah, she does. So auto bound, that's good. Let's get, let's get attached to the Wi-Fi. There should be a broadcasting network. We should be able to attach ourselves to that and then open up the Wi-Fi UFO app. Now, whenever you check to see what, whenever you check to see what uh, what application you use, there's usually a little uh, a little card that comes inside with it with with all these that says QR code scan this in order to use uh, use the app. Sometimes it says alongside what app it is. I have scanned some QR codes and it's taken me to a different app that I've needed. Um, so be be wary of that. Be sure you have a little look and see what the name is, and then see exactly what that app is that it's uh, that is trying to open for you. Right. So Wi-Fi UFO. I'm pretty sure I opened that before I came out this morning. Yes, I did. There we go. Perfect. Click play, and we're there. We should have. Yeah, we've got some FPV action, which is good. Let's get some screen recording. Nice. Let's get these gyros calibrated as well. Now, usually, there we go, down into the middle, and the, that's the calibration sequence complete. Now, we should be able to click the one key takeoff, and it should be able to start, but, no, nope. okay. Up we go. Now, there is one main thing that I want to say about this right from the start, and that is, when I flew the JD20S last year, I said that that quadcopter would be a runaway success if it had one feature. And I was hoping that the next incarnation of this particular quad would have that feature. And that is that it would have um, optical flow. Now, this is the JD20S model, and it has a better camera, but it does not. Are you serious? But it does not have optical flow. And it just fell out of the sky. Look at that. Okay, let's take it back. And let's see what we've got. So, gyro's calibrated, everything was calibrated. Let's calibrate again. This time I'll hold it in for longer. Oh, it doesn't make any difference. If you hold it in and let go, or hold it in and keep your finger on, on there, it still calibrates for the same amount of time. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take back off. And we'll see what we've got. Now, what I did notice was quite weird, was just before the quadcopter fell out of the sky, it seemed to go up. That's quite weird. Let's try it again. Now, I know I wasn't out of transmission range for that. That is quite strange. Okay. Seems to be all right for the moment. Now, I like the JD20. I thought that was a good quad. I like the JD20S. Again, I thought it was a good quad. Nice little, nice little changes to it. And today, I was hoping to like the JD20S Pro, but with it falling out the sky, I'm not really happy about that at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take her out for a little moderate flight, see exactly how she does. I'm not going to push her for any sort of distance or anything like that, quite simply because, oh, up she goes again, I'm pulling down. Oh, she's coming down, okay. Perhaps there's just atmospheric pressure changes, that's all. I mean, if I hold her there and just directionally move her, she is increasing slightly, 
We do have a four mile an hour wind here today, but she is coming back down when I pull back down. Now, the only difference between this and the JD20S is that the camera is 1080p, five megapixel. And this thing is absolutely horrible to control. Um, God, this thing is all over the place. If you control her, you bring her around. She seems to be better one way than the other. She seems to be better to the right than she does to the left. But she's always going up, so I'm having to bring her back down. Okay, is she leveling off? Not really. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's see how, how else this flight goes. What I'm really intrigued to see is that because this box arrives, it just says the JD20S on it. I'm quite intrigued to find out the only way you know it's a pro model is if you've got 1080p with a 5 megapixel camera ticked on the side of it. Now, so far, we haven't had any Wi-Fi dropouts that I've seen. I do keep a little little eye on it. And it, actually, the quality looks okay. It doesn't look fantastic. Obviously, it's not going to be. But at the same time, it does look okay. Now, oh, I do like when you see the propellers. I know exactly what that is. I know exactly what that is. I think that's emergency stop if you click and hold on the uh, on the on the left analog stick. That's exactly what I think that is. Do you know what makes me think that? It's because it's fallen up the sky twice and I've been pulling down for longer than five seconds. Because usually when you descend a quad cop, you descend so far, release, fly. Descend so far, release, fly. What I've been doing is because she's been really slow to descend, I've had my 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 finger right the way down for longer than five seconds and i think that's emergency stop what i'll do is i'll put it in the video because what's making me know it's not a failure with the quadcopter is because all leds are on and they're solid they're not flashing i haven't got to rebind i haven't got to reconnect so i think that is purely i think that is purely emergency stop <laughs> But she is quite difficult to control. There's a serious difference in this and and the JD20S. Now you could put it down to the fact that one says pro, but I've flown some really professional quadcopters and they've not been difficult at all. Uh, but again, you know, this is what you get. You get some good ones, you get some bad ones. Not saying that this is 100% bad, just saying that this is difficult to control and it, it's noticeable. It keeps on dropping. Now it could be down to, there we are, I'm having to constantly, if I just show you, if I bring her around to me and then if I just keep her positive pitched I have to now and again, because she's dipping, I have to increase her altitude and increase on cornering as well because on cornering she's descending So yes, so I think that that was emergency stop. I'll put it as a text, uh, as a, oh birds, I'll put it as a text uh, object in the video anyway. I'll, have, I'll go back. I can't remember what I read in the manual this morning, but I believe that is emergency stop. So I'm going to treat that as emergency stop. And if it's not, then I'll, I'll correct that in the video with uh, a little text link in there so you can see. Now, we do know the JD20S had 15 to 16 minutes of battery life. This one is rated for the same with a better camera. So I'm hoping it's going to be. I hope it's going to be good. So far, we've been recording video for four minutes, and I've been screen recording for six. So I'm hoping we get something good out of this today. But so far, I mean, those LEDs are really easy to see on the front. They're white. They're piercing. See, descending, white and piercing. You see them easy. The blue looks a little bit like when you, you know when you look at black light, when you look at UV. That's exactly what that looks like. And the green, you can see the green. If I take her out a little bit further, I can see the green quite quite well. Not as well as I can see the white. The blue after a certain distance just dissolves, but I can see the green. Okay, let's try and see what some of these features are. So we've got headless mode, we've got 360 flips, we've got speed modes one, two, and three. So this is speed mode three and uh, two. Oh, and she drops even more <laughs> in speed mode two, speed mode three. And she is very quick. Oh, and those motors. Oh, go on, fella, get up, get up. <laughs> it is, it's like trying to fly. Oh, 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 get up. Back to speed mode one. 
Speed Mode 3, she descends, or at least this particular model descends quite a lot. See, I'm having to keep my finger on the throttle in order when I'm flying her normally. So that you can see, see, I'm not making it up. And then that way then, she doesn't descend that much when she flies. But she seems to be all right, you know. She seems to be all right. I would have loved, if this thing had, had optical flow positioning, do you know what? In my eyes, it would have been great. But it's, it doesn't. Right, so we've got headless mode. Let's try the return to home. It's just going to come straight back or into a, into a position that it thinks it's back. I just hope I can turn it off again. So, because some of these you can't. Let's do it. Oh, it is coming back. Very measured, very slowly. That's good. That, do you know what? That's actually all right. That's actually all right. So normally they come back at a rate of knots and you're trying to struggle with getting this quadcopter to stop as it's coming back at you at a rate. But with this, oh, as soon as you move directionally, it knocks off. That's quite a nice little feature. You can't really tell that because the wind is pushing it, but that worked a little bit. Oh, headless mode. Now with headless mode, it's always better to start off your orientation before you fly, and that way then you can keep your orientation all the way through it. Now that did work with headless mode, but see, she's still, get up there. Maybe it's me, maybe, let's try. Maybe I'm flying a bit too low. So, sorry, I thought I heard somebody behind me then. That was a bit weird. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take her up a little bit higher and see whether that solves the issue with bringing, with her coming down too, too much. So let's take her up to there and just give her a bit of positive pitch, no throttle, and she's dropping in speed mode one. So yeah, I would say <coughs> it's not a height issue. Some quadcopters do like to be higher than others, but they usually let you know. See, this one is, it's quite weird for me to control. See, it's just dropping. See, dropping, and then eventually it will turn itself off. Oh, now we've got flashing LEDs. I'm probably gonna have to rebind perhaps. Let's have a little look and see. But you know, it's quite more, it is a lot more difficult to control this than, uh, than the JD20S from what I remember. Oh no, don't have to rebind. Oh, that's good. Just move the analog sticks when you've got the quadcopter on the back on the, on the landing pad. Go on, up, look, up. Up, 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 look, see, there we go. Oh, is that the battery? Eight minutes. Okay. Well, it's it's clearly bringing itself down and making itself into a into a. Uh... There we are. Yeah, I just tried out that emergency stop theory, and it is all the way down. At this point, I would have said in a text link at the bottom that it was emergency stop, but still. So they rated uh, 16 minutes. Let's look at my screen recording because that captures the whole thing before takeoff. So however long we have on screen recording, that's how long this flight was. So, uh, what we got? So, come on. 11 minutes and 17. There we are, down the bottom there, that's the new one. 11 minutes and 17. That's what we have there, and it's flashing. So it'll do another two or three minutes from that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her back up. So we've got 11 minutes so far. Will she? No, she won't, no, she won't fly, she won't go. So we've got 11 minutes, just over. That's okay. That's not the 16 they rated, but I'm gonna keep on pumping this battery and seeing exactly how much longer we can get out of it. This is on the first charge, mind. I haven't charged, discharged or whatever. On the first flight of every quadcopter, I always do just a standard battery just to see exactly how long that lasts. And that was 11 minutes. So we looked at some of these features. We looked at uh, return to home and headless mode. We looked at, couldn't get 3D flips to activate, but I did have an issue with the quadcopter coming back down. Um, I held my finger onto the left analog stick to bring her down uh, to try and see if she would descend because she is a slow descender. But the problem with doing that is if you do that for longer than five seconds, it initiates emergency stop. And that's why the quadcopter fell out of the air twice. So um, 
there's not actually a problem with this quad other than if you just hold this down it falls out the sky when the emergency stop kicks in after five or six seconds now this flight was good speed mode one two and three worked as well exactly as, as you would expect i'm hoping the video footage is good because we've got a 1080p 5 megapixel camera uh, lens inside here and i'm hoping that's going to be good at this point i would have seen the video and put a little text link in to show you to, to let you know exactly what i think of the video i'm hoping though at the time of recording this i'm hoping it's pretty good all in all the biggest issue with this is that it kept on descending in speed mode 3 it was the fastest descend i think i've ever seen it just every time you had positive pitch it kept on descending which you do get with quads but it was very noticeable it was very it was a very um it was enhanced with this one so you saw it drop very very quickly usually as you turn a bit, a bit of height and you know they carry on but this thing just kept on plummeting into the ground in speed mode one it did it as well and two and three so it wasn't just a speed and uh, and an angle change to the quadcopter body all in all i think it's okay i think if you've got the jd20 and the jd20s i don't think you need to bother with this uh, at this particular moment and we'll see what that video footage is like but i'm not holding out a lot of hope for it to be absolutely excellent so if you've got the JD20S, honestly, I'd stick with that because you, you still get the enhanced battery life. And I think the JD20S, when I flew that, I had better battery life than this JD20 Pro. There we are, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.